Well, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Sergio Ferreira from Remax, uh, from On Fire Team here in Madeira. And today I'm I'm making this new video from our driving series around Madeira, and and we're moving from uh, from um, we're driving from Ribeira Brava. We're going to go to the north coast. We're going to pass through São Vicente. And we'll end at Ribeira da Janela. Uh, I'm, I'm driving to a photo shoot this morning. Uh, let me just pass this through here. Okay. Um, we will drive to a photo shoot that, for a little house uh, that we will have for sale in Ribeira da Janela in Porto Moniz. Um, we're here on the this is not the highway, this is Via Espresso, but it's a good road so you can easily access between the south coast and the north coast of the area. Um, passing through, we'll pass through some tunnels. This particularly is uh, one of my favorite roads because uh, I, I, don't, I don't think we'll have that today because it's rainy. There's a huge cloud, uh, it's raining on the mountains, but uh, on a normal day, you'll see some clouds going down the, the mountain in, uh, in here at Serra d'Agua. Well, today we'll have, we have a little bit of glimpse on the front, you can see within the valley. When I stopped the car, it was raining, now it seems to be a little bit better. And I just love this. And many times you're driving through here, and once I do this turn, and, and you see clouds just going down the mountain. You can see the cloud going down. It's a wonderful effect. Uh, well, it's winter, so it has been... The weather is not that... Um, sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's a little bit raining. Uh, well, it depends. Let's see what we're, we're going to get. Uh, and hopefully we'll get uh, nice weather so we can put the drone up in here to take some nice aerial pictures. If not, well, we'll play. Uh, we'll do the best we can uh, with what the weather provides us. So, Ribeira Brava, so Serra d'Agua, where we're passing now, it's also very known for the locals uh, for its Porsche bars. So, Porsche, it's a traditional Madeiran beverage. Um, that we drink here based on rum, okay? You have several types of Porsche. I'm going to, to tell you which ones are the most traditional. Um, so for me, the one that I like the best, it's like Fisherman's Porsche. It's only rum, lemon juice and sugar. Um, so for me, this is traditional one. If you know Caipirinha from Brazil, it's, it has the same roots because Portuguese started plant, planting sugarcane here in Madeira, uh, and then when, once they, they they got to Brazil, well, there was of course much more land there to grow sugarcane, so they kind of uh, moved the production through there. So the fisherman's poncha, that is uh, rum. Uh, lemon juice and and uh, sugar. Okay, in Brazil it was transformed into caipirinha, and caipirinha is rum as well. They call it cachaça, the rum from Brazil. From Brazil, instead of of lemon juice, they use lime juice. Okay, and they have sugar as well. So you can see it's the same recipe, only changes the the location, and they add a lot of of. Um, of ice there because it's quite hotter there. Uh, here, usually we drink without ice. <coughs> here on on the on the left, you can see Taberna de Porsche. It's the most famous uh, Porsche bar here. Um, but but yeah, that's the that's the the reason. That's the that's the the, the thing. So if you know Caipirinha from Brazil. It's different, our Porsche, okay, um, but 
you will, you will see. In other, in other countries, if you go to Africa, you'll, they'll have something similar as well, called Porsche, okay? Uh, all of the places where the Portuguese sellers passed, they have one of these uh, beverages with uh, rum based, okay? So here on the right you have another one, it's quite good, this one as well. Uh, and here you can see, well it still looks looks nice on video even though it's uh, it's winter time. Here on the left you, you have the, uh, you see a sign saying Encumiada and, and on, you'll have two or three more nice bars here where you can try out a Porsche as well. Um, and if you go uh, up, it's one of the most beautiful winding roads we have uh, here, that is uh, Cumiada. If you like driving on mountain roads, that would be a nice drive for you to, especially if you drive stick. This is just my opinion. I like to drive stick and then you can uh, use the, the engine of the car the way that you, you want the best. Okay, so this is, we're still at Sacadagua, it's a nice cozy place, most of people here are, are they, they, they get a living based on agriculture or they live here because they just grew up here and they work in something else, in other places, but it's a nice place. The difference is, and, and we'll get that, the the traditional, it's, the north coast is far greener than the south coast, in my opinion, for me, I love it, uh, because I just grew up in the nature, camping and walking and doing bravados and everything, so, so, I love, I love its character, well, I hope you like it too, <laughs> um, yeah, but, but this is it. So, and, and nowadays we have this, this uh, road network that will allow us to drive fast and safe throughout uh, these different places here in Madeira. Nowadays it's quite easy for us to drive from one place to another. Not, uh, and, and it is, and I like, I like the feeling. And, and these are welcoming people quite simple without uh, well if you come to Madeira to live you'll understand you have to live it to understand it so this is what I what I can tell you uh, so now after this we're going you we can see the mountain above us so this is the this is the the let, let's say the border between Serra d'Agua that it's still in the south coast uh, and uh, and the north coast, okay. So uh, and now we have one of the biggest tunnels here in Madeira that will drive us to to the to the to the north coast. So we are more or less in the middle of uh, of the island right now. If you divide the island in four we're more or less at the at the at the point where all lines cross so take off my glasses and so and now we're we're entering we're moving towards São Vicente São Vicente is the city in the north coast that um, it's more or less in in, in the in the middle of the north coast so once you get to the sea if you turn left then you'll have two or three nice places where you can visit uh, of course San Vicente is a wonderful place to to visit and view uh, and even live but then if you turn left you'll have Seychelles uh, that it's the it's one of the, the wealthiest places in the north coast of the island. Uh, a lot of character as well. Then you have Ribera de Janela and then Porto Muniz. Porto Muniz is it's world known for its natural 
natural swimming pools. Um, everyone that comes to Madeira goes there to visit them. Uh, it's um, it's a vo volcanic pools. It's uh, if you come to Madeira, you should go there and try and go f there for a swim. It's it's money well spent in my in my opinion. Um, Then, when I told you, if you go up the mountain, you'll get to Comiada, then you can go back to the old world, to San Vicente. You, 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 can, you can appreciate the, the, na the nature in its natural state, because in today's world, it's not that easy to find, uh, to, to still find nature in, in its natural state. And, and, and the beauty of Madeira, one of the beauties of, of Madeira is this, that you can have comfort of living uh, in a nice city, with a nice comfort, with services, uh, everything, health, uh, health care, everything, but then within a small drive you can be in another place, having another healing, uh, having different feelings. Probably Madeira is the most compact place on earth because there's so much to do and see and all close by uh, that you have that it's, it's amazing because for me even after all these years I always find a new place something nice uh, around here so now we're going down to San Vicente okay. good weather here even though it rained a little bit you can see that the water is, is, is wet but the uh, the weather is good, nice colors, a lot of small houses here. It could be excellent for a, for a, if you want to live in a quiet place, this, this could work for you, all of this area. Where you can still, your kids still can play 
out in the woods. Uh, be kids again, you know, because nowadays if you live in the city, you it's more or less, if you have a kid, it's just, it goes to school, gets home, goes to school, gets home, then everything is programmed, it's, it has you have to book him some activities so they so he can do something different like play a sport or or play an instrument or something like this and here even with your neighbors because there's a lot of land they can always be running outside well the same way as I did when I was a young boy uh, even though I lived in Funchal I always passed uh, my weekends on the countryside and uh, my grandfather had uh, had the land with 11,000 square meters and me and my cousins, we, we had uh, paths into the, the land uh, because it was abandoned and only us knew when we were growing up and uh, well, and it's different, we need to move and we have to make room for our child to be child again and to play in a, in a normal way, I think, well, just a personal opinion. Uh, just me thinking out loud. So, but it's as you can see, it's a wonderful place here in Saint Vincent. Here on my right side, you can see the this this wall here belongs to the the volcanic caves. You can come here to Saint Vincent to to, to do a tour in our volcanic caves. It's something that you should do as well, um, it's right here, you can see the parking, the parking spaces here, it's going to appear here right on the right side, a nice garden as well, so I think it's, it's something that it's worth, uh, worth vi visiting, in my opinion, okay, then if, when we get to the, to the sea level, if you turn right, then you have Saint George, Arco de Saint George. You have, well, truthfully, you have Ponta Delgada, another beautiful place, a nice uh, location also at, at sea level. Uh, one of the best climates in the north coast. Uh, for me, it's Ponta Delgada and Seychelles as well. Uh, I love Ponta Delgada. And then you have uh, Boaventura, Arco de São Jorge, um, São Jorge, Santana. It's uh, if you're looking for the untouched Madeira, I would choose one of those locations in the north coast to because even though it has evolved, okay, progress is everywhere. You can still uh, it hasn't grown just uh, that much and you can still find the character and you can still look back and, and, and understand how people would live 40 years ago and if you speak, if you if you learn how to speak Portuguese the older people will gladly tell you how what uh, how life was back in the days because everything was manual, we didn't have the, these kind of roads, like the wealthiest families will pay uh, some guys to, to travel them within a net, because you didn't even have roads for, to move to Funchal, so, so there, there was going to be a net and two guys would, would carry the, the men or the ladies throughout the entire process. So here we're arriving at the sea level uh, in San Vicente. Uh, well, it's an amazing day, amazing winter day. This is that's why I love Madeira. You know, it rains and, and the beauty is this: it rains and then it gets sunny and then it's sometimes it rains a little bit, but it's just wonderful to, to visit. Here it's a bit dark. This is like the, the seashore. Have nice restaurants here. I usually come here to this one caravella 
to eat a picado. Picado, it's a, a traditional dish that we have here. Just some bits of uh, of meat with a nice sauce and and some French fries. And well, it's simple and effective, like we say here in Portugal. Simple as if cash. So. Cars here, okay. And it's just well, I'm just going to move this here to see if you can see the waves. But it's just it's amazing. It is truly amazing. That's why I love Madeira so much. That's there's so much to do and see in a, such a small place. Here you have a small waterfall here.
some considerations about the North Coast. I believe I already said this in another video, but I'll, but I'll say it again. So Madeira is quite high in the middle. So, and usually the, the clouds stay in the, they get stuck in the highest mountains. Usually the main winds come from the north, northeast. So usually the, the clouds get stuck on the north coast. That's why it's greener. It's also a little bit rainier. Uh, nothing to compare with the winter you have in the mainland, but it's rainier. But you can see this is February the 1st and you can see the, the day that we're having today. So here I'm just going to pass through Seychelles just to give you a small glimpse of what we have here. We have some natural swimming pools here, a nice beach. Uh, it's not the intent of this video to show you Seychelles, but I will just pass through. So it will take just a minute or two more. And it's a nice cozy villa here as well. Um, I've sold the land here as well and it's uh, it's great. It's a great nice location. Just a lot of friends that I know uh, li live here. It's also known for its vineyards, for its wine production. have Chão de Ribeira, where the, the locals used to have their own plantations. They would live here, down here, but they will grow uh, vegetables up in the mountain in Chão de Ribeira. So, so, and in the, in the, in the past, uh, in the present past, in the, the last years, people started buying lands there and renewing the sheds and make it uh, small Airbnbs. But it's you can see this. We're almost at the sea level. This is amazing villa. Up there on the next uh, mountain, we have Ribeira de Janela. So it's, uh, it's like I, like I told you, it's amazing. It's amazing if you if you. Uh, I think the people who live here are fortunate to have uh, to be living within this small piece of heaven. This is my my understanding. It is. It is. And this here has, for the north coast, uh, it's one of the best climates. Okay. I'll just go slowly so you can admire this view. It's down here you have the natural swimming pools. It's quite steep, so if you're afraid of driving on high slopes, just leave the car up here and just go walking. But it, you'll see many pictures of down there. And here on the right, it, you, you also have another beach that it's Praia de Ribeira de Laje. Uh, it's a nice place for you to go. And there's a little bit of sand, so if you don't like our rocky beaches, then you can try that one, Ribeira de Laje. I will show you the entrance right in a minute. And you can see people still grow things here. Everything is clean. And also, if you do some activities, because I was telling you that uh, Madeira it's a place for adventure. Uh, one of the things, well, I'm looking at the sea, and uh, I prefer the mountains to the sea, I can tell you this, uh, but I've 
done it in the past but bodyboarding and they do it in Seychelles many people do bodyboard in, 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 in Seychelles in Saint Vicente there's, a, there's places where you can do bodyboard and, uh, and surf as well and here on the north coast so I won't say we do every sport here but uh, let's say the, the main ones <coughs> you always have the, the ability to do whatever you can think regarding the sea. Have big game fishing, spear fishing, uh, scuba diving, uh, sailing. Many people go sailing. Uh, they go, you can do fishing, like line fishing. Um, you can do surf, bodyboard. Like I told you, I prefer the mountains, but I have two stand-up paddle boards, and, uh, and I can tell you this, uh, in 2020, it was COVID, the last time I went to the sea, uh, it was the 8th of December, because it's a holiday here, and it was a sunny day, and I just grabbed my, my stand-up paddle boards, and, I, and then I just went for a... For a for a well to me and my wife we just went for for a, a small tour at Kelieta so it's uh, like I told you there's much that you can do and see um, and and another thing that it's that it's amazing here it's, it's not a place where it, so it can be raining on one side then it dry for a little bit uh, and it's sunny so I would say that it's almost impossible to be raining 100% on every uh, on every spot of the island. So sometimes we have the clouds are are quite low, uh, just below 500, 500 meters high. <laughs> Sorry, and in those days, if you go up in the mountains, you'll be above the clouds, and it's it's an amazing view. It's uh, it's something that. Um, You'll be driving to your car through the clouds and then you're above uh, just getting that sun, that, how should I say, uh, no filter sun. Um, and it's amazing. It's, um, that's why. So, for you to understand our way of living and all the things that you need to come here. Uh, but in a week, you, you'll get to know the basics. If some, sometimes people ask me, uh, how long should they come to Madeira? Uh, in my opinion, I always give this advice. Uh, I would say, okay, come a week, first time, just rent a car or book a tour guide and go and see the major po points of interest. Okay, you can go to, to Ribeira de Janeiro, like we're going now, we can go to Porto Moniz, Cabo Chirão, the Pico do Arieiro, we can go to Santana, just see the main uh, Madeira from the, from the road or the beaten path, you can even uh, book a safari tour that will give you a different glimpse and see the, uh, the Madeira, the countryside Madeira as well, but in the next time, when you come here, because you already know the major spots, just book some activities. Go go on a, on a catamaran trip, or or in uh, in uh, the Nau de Santa Maria, uh, old uh, ship from the discovering area era. So that can be something. You just go for a levada. If you if you if you're not uh, if you're able to walk, just book a, a tour from a levada. Okay, we're getting to Ribeira de Janela. There's a camping site here as well, and and believe me, you will have uh, a quite different feeling of of what it is. Okay, I'm just going to go here, try to go down. I'll just go down here to show you a little bit of the feeling of Chanela. Okay, the road is closed, so I can't go move forward, but I will, I will just turn my car.
car here. Okay. The old world is closed. photographer that, that we're going to meet now uh, has a nice video a nice video of the of Ribera de Janela I'll put it here in the comments so you can just follow that link then you'll see so we're going up the mountain to a nice place Uh, on this 
various areas. They just keep together. If you need help, they will help you. There's this uh, inter-help, but people usually keep their business and it's, uh, it's a nice place. So. And it's what an amazing day. And I don't know if you, if you noticed throughout the, the video, already gone. We already got sun, rain, and we got sun all over again. So, well, I, I'm, I'm just keeping my word. So, you can be driving from one, one place to another, and then you have, uh, and then you'll get, always get sun every day. So this is Madeira at its best. Enjoyed this ride if you're still up here with me. If not, okay, not a problem. It was delightful to, to share this moment with you. If you need um, something from my end, just reach out through the contracts. To the contacts, we'll have the link tree link where you can have the contacts from me, Ricardo, and British from our team. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of content. Um, well, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy a happy living. Thank you.